Welcome to another Red Hat Consulting whiteboard video. I'm Carolyn Thiel, a senior consultant with Red Hat Consulting. And I'm Cameron Wyatt, a consulting architect with Red Hat Consulting. Today we're going to be talking about Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform, Red Hat Cloud Forms, and Ansible Tower by Red Hat. Just to give everyone a quick overview, OpenShift is a container platform for deploying and managing applications in the cloud. Tower is a way to manage your configuration management scripts that contains a simple and easy UI. And CloudForms is a way to bring everything together and manage your entire environment. Today we want to focus on how these three products can be integrated together to bring value to your organization. And to do that, we're going to focus on four specific use cases. So Cameron, let's start with the assumption that I'm a system administrator and I need to deploy my infrastructure in a way that's simple, repeatable, and scalable. How would I do that with these three products? Yeah, this is something that system administrators deal with all the time now. Deploying infrastructure at scale is a really big deal. So Ansible Tower by Red Hat comes into play here. It allows us to store playbooks, which can run Ansible behind the scenes to make changes to systems. It can store credentials that allow us to authenticate to those underlying systems or to our cloud or infrastructure providers. And it also allows us to have static and dynamic inventories. Dynamic inventories being a way to automatically pull in hosts that things like OpenShift and CloudForms are running on. So a common use case that we see is I want to install OpenShift or I want to upgrade CloudForms. Ansible Tower could do the orchestration and run the playbooks to do that. So Ansible Tower is the front end from which you can do your whole installation? Yeah, absolutely. And we can even store configuration details about, let's say, our OpenShift inventory file that defines if we have any proxies, what our application versus our infrastructure and master nodes are. That can all be kept within Tower. Great. So as another use case, let's say that I'm an OpenShift operator. A common thing that I get stuck doing is I have to manually create a project within OpenShift. A new developer team gets onboarded, and they need a place to work. I want to make sure that this new project has quotas and the correct permissions assigned to it. So how can I use these things to help me out there and make my life a little bit easier? Well, what's going to help you here is the fact that CloudForms is integrated with your entire environment. It's integrated with OpenShift, with Tower, with the underlying infrastructure as well. So that's going to allow us to create a CloudForm self-service action. And essentially, that's just a form that a user can fill out with information about their project, uh, the name, the permissions, the quotas it needs. And then they're going to click the order button. At that point, the form is going to go to an administrator who can approve or deny that request. And if it's approved, CloudForms will call a playbook from Ansible Tower that will spin up the project directly on OpenShift. OK, great. So I can set up complex workflows and automation to be run from CloudForms, and it automatically reaches out to Tower and does all the heavy lifting for me? Yes, precisely. It'll give you a front end for everything. Great. So now let's say I'm an OpenShift developer, and I have two OpenShift clusters, a dev cluster and a test cluster. And I want to be able to copy everything in my project and its artifacts from dev to test. How would I do that? Yeah, absolutely. We see this all the time. This is a very common use case for customers. So you, as you mentioned, you have a number of artifacts in your dev cluster, and you need to dump those things out of there and put them in tests. So in CloudForms, again, we can set up a self-service catalog item to allow users to promote the project. They click the order button. They fill out some information about the things that need to come out of OpenShift, like deployment configs, service configurations, routes, etc. CloudForms will then reach out to Ansible Tower and run the Promote Project Playbook. That will dump all the artifacts and move them over and promote them into the test cluster. And just like that, you've promoted an entire project so it can be accessible in test. So it sounds like creating a project and promoting a project are actually look quite similar from a user perspective. Yeah, absolutely. CloudForms and Ansible Tower to get together give us the power to do uh, automation and orchestration. So another thing that we run into today is, as a security engineer, I need to make sure that the container images and the virtual machine infrastructure that everything's running on meet my compliance policies. How can these three products help me to ensure that my compliance is met? Well, as you know, there's a lot that goes into securing an environment. And CloudForms is actually going to be able to help you out with a lot of that. So you mentioned the container images. CloudForms actually has the ability to run an open SCAP scan against container images in your OpenShift cluster. And if any of those images fail that scan, CloudForms will actually mark them as non-compliant and prevent them from being run in OpenShift. 
It's a very similar process for your virtual machine images. Cloud forms can scan them and mark them as non-compliant to prevent them from running. You can also create another service catalog item in Cloud Forms for your open SCAP scanning. And you can have that item, again, reach out to Ansible Tower, run your open SCAP scans, and even alert administrators of any failures, or even start to do some automatic remediation of problems that it finds. OK, great. So using these three products, I can really close the loop of security to make sure that any new container images or VMs that exist in my environment, are they can be remediated, they can be scanned, and I can identify any issues. Yes, absolutely. You can also set up an, uh, a schedule for scanning so that any time a new image comes into your environment, Cloud Forms will kick off that scan. OK, great. So. Today, we showed you four different use cases from system administrators, OpenShift developers and operators, and also security engineers. But it doesn't have to stop there. As you've seen, these three products give you a lot of flexibility for automation, orchestration, and developer workflows. Red Hat Consulting has done all this before. We've seen the challenges that organizations have existing now and how these products can solve those challenges for them. So if you want to get started, you can contact us by reaching out to your existing Red Hat account executive to set up a discovery session, or you can go to redhat.com slash services to learn more about how training and consulting services can work with you. Thank you.